In this episode of Inquiring Minds, Persis looks at why we sweat. Mike finds out what happens to your clothes when they're dry cleaned. And Chris looks at why injuries heal faster in a hyperbaric chamber. We all do it. We do it when we're nervous. We do it when it's hot. We do it when we exercise. What is it we do? We sweat. My question is, why does sweat smell so bad? Well, to answer that, it might help if we take a look at why we sweat in the first place. When you exercise, your body produces extra heat. If you don't get rid of it, you could overheat and die. To avoid this, millions of tiny glands covering your entire body produce sweat. A sweat gland is kind of like a lawn sprinkler. When your body gets too hot, the gland switches on and floods your skin with sweat. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. As the sweat evaporates from your skin, it absorbs heat. This cools you down. It's the same cooling effect you feel when water evaporates from your skin after a swim. But why does sweat have to stink to get the job done? I'll let you in on a little secret. It doesn't. Sweat is basically water, and water is odorless. So what's causing the smell? It's these guys, bacteria. They survive best in a damp environment. So when you sweat, you create the perfect home for them. But you may be thinking the smell doesn't come from everywhere in your body. It seems to emanate from one particular place. Why is that? Although you have sweat glands all over your body, sweat evaporates faster from the areas that are exposed. Check out the forearm, for instance. It's exposed to the breeze, so sweat evaporates quickly. It's like a desert. If you were moisture-loving bacteria, would you want to live here? But under here, it's a different story. Your armpit is like a swamp. It's protected from the breeze so the sweat can't evaporate as quickly. It's warm and moist all year round. It's the perfect place for bacteria to thrive. But that's not the only reason bacteria love it here. Your armpit has two types of sweat glands. The kind that makes sweat, and another that produces a milky, sticky substance. This stuff contains carbohydrates, fats, proteins, in other words, bacteria food. Your armpit contains 2.5 million bacteria per square centimeter. But it's not actually the bacteria themselves that smell so bad. It's what they leave behind. I hate to break it to you, but your pits smell because they're full of bacteria poop. The only way to get rid of this is to reduce the number of bacteria. So how do you do that? Well, there's always the old standard method. But within minutes of hopping out of the shower, the number of bacteria is on the rise again. And wearing clothes just speeds up the process. Clothes prevent sweat from evaporating, keeping the armpits moist, just the way the bacteria like it. Oh, man. You could custom tailor your wardrobe, but luckily there are other alternatives. How about shaving your armpits, for instance? The hairs under your arms trap moisture just like these bushes. If you shave this hair, the sweat can evaporate faster. It reduces the amount of moisture, and if you reduce the amount of moisture, you reduce the number of bacteria. If this isn't your cup of tea, then it's time to go for the heavy artillery. But there are a lot of choices. Aerosol sprays, roll-ons, sticks. But not to worry. All underarm products fall under two categories, deodorants, or antiperspirants. You may have thought they were one and the same, but they're as different as night and day. Deodorant just masks the offending odor with another more acceptable odor. It's basically perfume for your pits. 
<laughs> Antiperspirant, on the other hand, plugs up your sweat glands like a dam across a river. This reduces the flow of sweat into your pits. No sweat, no bacteria. Come on, Chris, you've been in there an hour. Chris, are you okay? Chris? This antiperspirant is great. Check out my pits, they're man. They're as dry as the Gobi Desert. Whew. <laughs> Don't have the heart to tell them, but when you stop sweating under your arms, your body has to compensate by sweating more somewhere else. There are actually two kinds of sweat glands in your armpits. <sighs> this liquid doesn't cool you off. No one knows for sure what the heck it does. But a clue to it can be found 